we're, we're almost ready to reopen and anybody who came in the mansion house previously will see a dramatic difference I think and I think once people see inside inside this room here and the state room upstairs they will see a dramatic difference well, we are currently in our, our great 18th century kitchens um, prior to the restoration this probably looked, well, it did look like a 1970s kitchen with four micro units and so forth and behind me were gas cookers but what we've done is we've recreated the kitchen as it would have been in 1780s really the mansion house house's heyday you know this will be a fully working range you can imagine the fire burning away we can have pots hanging off here over the flames um, and spits roasting chickens or beef or whatever in front of it and here the hot water supply fire underneath and then we be bubbling away there on the other side we have some lovely chafing stoves These are, this is basically an 18th century barbecue in here there's charcoal that would get hot and you can imagine frying eggs again pans of food and so forth but one interesting thing that we will be doing which is pretty much unique for historic buildings is actually showing people using modern technology how the food was prepared but here there'll be a projection onto the table and we have a, a well-known food historian called Dr Annie Gray and she will lead the, the visitor through the processes of cooking but you can actually be involved so you can help her crack the eggs using there's this wizardry of technology in the bowl you can actually even pluck the woodcocks and it's really quite amazing and exciting to see for example the gold and silver will be displayed in house it's one of the biggest collections outside London and it's locked away in the safes so this will be on display and that's actually quite exciting it is such a fascinating building and what makes it equally unique is it's, it's not set in time it's not set in aspect this continuity of use is still here we will still get functions here the popular any monarch will still come here as they did in the past and it's a living working breathing building